Hi everybody, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be a weekly reading for the week of September 9th. And we're going to do um, six signs, starting with Aries. We will pull five cards from the Luna. Aries. Okay. So you are in an energy of like you have no other choice but to reinvest um it might have something to do with a friend it might have something to do with someone that you are interested in but is not available and um, you're realizing that they're not going to give you everything that you need and you're needing to start over okay with the fool here there's an energy uh, with this magician in reverse, king of wands, the tower in reverse, judgment in reverse, and the world. Lots of major arcana here. A lot of major arcana for you, Aries. And it's just something is not manifesting, right? Something is not manifesting. Um, you're in your power, right? You're in your power. King of wands this is definitely an Aries energy, but you're like no this is just gonna fall apart right this is just gonna fall apart and i'm feeling really bad about myself and i just have all of these really big goals and dreams for myself that i have to move on you know that this is not gonna this is not gonna work out right so let's do three cards for the advice three cards for advice we'll do two shovels Two of Cups in reverse, the Moon, and the Three of Cups. Yeah. So, the love, like, the love is not here, right? You have to move on. Like, the love is not here. And while that might make you really upset, you have to understand that you have friends that are available to help you. Three of Cups here, right? Like, just, you kind of, this is in an energy of, like, you have to, you know, be around people that make you feel good because the love that you're seeking from this person is just not here, okay? It's, it's not here, all right? That's what I have for you, Aries. Moving on to Taurus. Five cards for Taurus. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Death in Reverse. Okay, there's an energy of disappointment. There's an energy of like, can I invest here? Should I invest here? The love is definitely here, but you're comparing yourself to other people and you're trying not to. You're like, don't compare yourself to other people. Don't compare yourself to other people. There's an energy of like a lot of uh, like sexual energy coming through here, right? Especially with this Queen of Wands right next to it. But... You're feeling in your power, you're feeling really attractive, you're feeling magnetic, you're feeling passionate, you're excited, but there's an energy of like, okay, but I have to like just be at ease in my mind, right? Just like take it easy. You're 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 very much um in an energy of peace. Okay, there's a peaceful energy here. Now with this eight of swords and the death in reverse, nothing needs to change here, right? Like nothing needs to change. You're just in your head a little bit, right? You're kind of like creating your own, you know, bondage here, like right with your thoughts, okay? But you're very um, attractive at this time, okay? Three cards for your advice. The Magician in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, just you're release the anxiety right release the anxiety you don't have to don't worry about creating right now right right now is an energy of receiving an energy of receiving and and just pressing forward right just just press forward keep going you're on the right path you're creating your own stress and anxiety and it doesn't need to be there it's literally all in your head 
Okay, and that can be a really tough spot for us to be. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Moving on to Gemini. Five cards for Gemini. Nine of Cups in reverse, Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Five of Wands. Okay, we're kind of taking a pause here. We're not like, um, anyway, pause. We're just going painfully slow. Painfully slow with a new beginning because it's working. And we want progress. We don't want um, things to stop moving. Okay, and um, something... Like you're, you're trying to be happy, but something is not like, there's still a little bit of conflict there, right? There's conflict and you're, you're able to lean on your family and your friends at this time. But this is more so family energy, but you're relying on the people that you trust and care about a lot to kind of get you through right now, because I think there's an energy of being a little bit burnt out. You're a little bit um, burned out and you've been working a lot. So now you're like a little bit snappy this week, right? You're kind of like, I just, I'm trying my best not to fight, right? I don't want to fight, but there is a little bit of um, like a fighting energy here, okay? There is a little bit of some conflict. So this could be um, in the workplace since that eight of pentacles is there in reverse, Um or you might just be feeling like there's a lot of competition in um, the work sphere right now. And like to build up your battery again, you're charging by being with family, okay? Three cards for advice for Gemini. Nine of Cups in reverse again. Three of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so your advice is to actually um, don't overindulge this week, right? Stop trying so hard to be happy. Focus on the present moment and if there are things that you know you need to reinvest in, then reinvest, right? If you... If you can't invest in this situation right like don't put so much energy into trying to win this conflict be happy plan for the future like your future is now right like like our, the future is made up of all of the now moments and if you're not happy right now like the end goal sure is going to come but like you have to be happy right now you have to be happy right now so this week is all about you being happy right now all right, Jen, that's what I have for you. Moving on to Cancer. Cancer, Temperance in Reverse, Seven of Wands, The Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles, and Two of Pentacles in Reverse. You're having a moment this week, Cancer, I'll be honest, with this tower here. Something's going to happen. And you're going to be like, you might hear something that you didn't want to hear from the past. Someone might, you know, may have gotten married that you loved at some point. Or someone is dating somebody else or someone, um, yeah, you're, you're learning something about someone from the past that's making you feel like, whoa, whoa, I, I have to kind of... Um, stop giving too much right now because yeah 9 11 because like i don't have enough energy to do that things are a little bit out of balance um this week and there's an energy of like feeling a little bit defensive right you're a little bit defensive something's kind of coming to the surface that's making you feel like whoa i have to pause because right now i'm feeling really alone and i'm feeling like i can't kind of get a grip on um life right now right like i can't my bills are piling up i'm feeling like i can't afford anything right now okay if finances especially with this two of pentacles in reverse you guys there also could be maybe 
a big expense coming in regarding one of your children or one of your family members um, or yourself or like something from the past is coming back that you thought was not there and it's making you be like whoa 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 now I like I have to just pause take a second recollect myself right because this I was not expecting this I was not expecting this tell me three cards of advice for cancer Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Yeah, someone from your... Someone from your past might be coming back through to tell you how they feel about you, and you're like, what? Like, this could be an ex-partner that you are not happy with and we're not happy with, and, like, coming back and being, like... I still love you, right? With the Seven of Swords at the Page of Cups, like, I still love you. I still want to be with you. Like, there's an energy right now that hangman makes more sense. Your advice is Nine of Cups, right? And I'm getting goosebumps. If you feel like you couldn't let that person go and you really care about that person and there's a chance that you could make it work, Focus on your happiness, right? Focus on your happiness because something about this is making me feel like you haven't been able to let that go. And that's why the devil energy showed up where you're like, do I let this person back in? Do I love them? But someone's coming back around that you, you know, you're like, mm, my hackles are up. I got to be careful with that one. Okay. That's what I have for you. Cancer, thank you. Moving on to Leo. Leo. Okay. There's an energy of indecision. You're like, I just want to press forward. I just want to feel good about where I'm at right now. And I'm, I'm just doing my best to trust my intuition at this time, right? I want to trust my intuition. I want to feel like I'm making all the right choices, okay? There's an energy of some slight frustration here, okay? Slight frustration, um, could be sexual frustration, but I'm thinking more so like ego, right? You're getting a little bit in your ego here with this emperor in reverse, right? You're kind of feeling like, I, I'm not in control. Someone else is kind of telling me what to do. I don't like that. So now I'm going to get a little angry, right? And I'm trying to kind of push my emotions underneath the rug here and be like, nope, that's not bothering me. Nope, that's not bothering me. But you're like, it's totally bothering me. I can't get it out of my head. And now I feel like I'm stuck in this and I don't know how to get out of it, right? I'm stuck in this. I don't know how to get out of it. And I'm feeling like I'm like, just trying to stay with myself, trying to trust what I know to be true because, yeah, someone's making me feel a little angry, okay? Three cards for advice for Leo. The High Priestess in reverse, Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Interesting. I know you're trying to trust your intuition, right? And trying to be like, I know what's going on here. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. But you know that it's not, right? You know that it's not. And if something is stressing you out, your advice is to pay attention to what's stressing you out and allow yourself to, with that moon in reverse, right? This Knight of Cups here is saying it's okay to go into those emotions, right? It's okay to go into those emotions. It's okay to, to let yourself feel vulnerable and allow that vulnerability to be there and allow that um, sadness to be there, right? Like if you're feeling some kind of way about something, that energy is there for a reason and don't ignore your stress. Don't ignore your stress, right? And you are definitely... Um, Tarot is validating that you are, um, you know, there's an energy of stress and anxiety here, 
So go into that and it's all right to be vulnerable and to express your vulnerability, okay? All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. Moving on to Virgo. Five cards for Virgo. Temperance in reverse, seven of wands, five of pentacles, the hanged man, and the two of pentacles. Okay, so you guys could definitely have, um, I think it was cancer in your chart, okay? If so, go back to the cancer reading. But yes, you are also in an energy of like, ah, someone from my past might be coming back to tell me um, how they feel about me. This was unexpected. Now I'm feeling a little bit defensive, like my hackles are up, like I don't know what to do about this situation per se. I'm feeling um, a little bit like I don't know what to do. I have to take time out, right, and kind of assess how I'm feeling here. If there's not an ex reaching out to you and telling you how they feel, you're getting a little bit of a hit financially from someone that was unexpected. So just prepare for that, right? Prepare for that and know that, um, you know, budgeting is going to be imperative right now. Slowing back on the spending, understanding that right now is going to be one of those weeks where you're penny pinching a little bit, okay? Um, and one of those weeks where you might need to ask for help from somebody around you, right? You might need to ask, ask that's a big message actually, ask for help if you need it. Three cards for advice. There we go. Seven of pentacles, the three of pentacles in reverse, and the five of swords in reverse, yeah. Definitely like, like you have to keep putting the work in, right? Keep putting the work in. Don't um, just drop out because you're feeling like a little bit pinched right now. Keep putting the work in. Um, don't worry about issues within the workplace. You don't have to like feel like people are, um, you know, not having the best interest in you. Don't worry about that. Don't get involved in drama at work. Don't get involved in drama at work. Just keep working, right? Keep, keep, um, this could be an old coworker surface thing that said something, right? Just like, don't worry about that. Just keep focusing on the work and don't get yourself involved in drama that you don't have to get yourself involved in, okay? All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. Let's see. We did Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Okay, I'm going to stop there. All right, guys, have a good week. I'll do the rest of the six signs later this evening. Thanks.